Hello again and welcome to the shed. Uh, tonight I'm going to try and do a very big one. It's uh, four foot by two foot. It's the biggest I've ever done. So let me just show you things first. I've got most of my colours mixed up. I'm just going to mix up a green so you can see how much I put in and stuff. I put a, a couple of squirts in each of this stuff. Alcohol. Um, 99.9%. The board itself is just MDF. Uh, MDF board. Is that a good seal? And I've, I've sealed it with uh, acrylic paint and this stuff mixed up 50-50. The resin I'm using, it's the only resin I've ever used so I can't compare it with anything, is the art resin. Uh, another question I've had, what sort of heat gun have I got? Okay, so it's that. Can you see that? Energy uh, 2000 watt heat gun. Just an ordinary heat gun. Well, I think that's about it, really. So let me just do this uh, green. I should have opened this first. And these pigments, hang on. Put about that much in, then we're going to fill that up. Okay. So I would say that was well below the 10% ratio or whatever. I've left these out. Look, these, these are the... Um, Resin for art pigments. I really like them, really vibrant colours. But I've also mixed in with the gold, some mica gold, uh, some purple with the purple, and some metallic red with this red. It's chunked it down a bit. I didn't really want that, but we'll see how that goes. And the rest are just those, those other pigments. So, where's me resin? I'll just top this one up. I'm not used to this. It's, uh, this is so big it's took up on my table. go nice that's the consistency more or less see that all right a bit of alcohol that's nearly full so I'll put in about three Okay, all, all set. Um, I'll put all these behind me actually. Okay, so I've got my black acrylic paint, 
mixed up. This is what I like to put on the background. In that, I've got a bit of uh, bit of glitter with um, some sort of glitter anyway. This could be a long video, so any any parts like this, you can always fast forward to the better parts. Holographic glitter, that's what it is. These are, I try to make, make it like the uh, Hubble pictures, you know, the Hubble telescope of outer space. This one, uh, this is for my my wall, so I'm really hoping it turns out okay. Like I can say, this is the biggest one I've ever done. I see that holographic stuff already. I don't worry too much about this. I mean, I can always, it all gets blown around anyway. I think the edges are the most important thing. Oh, down here. That's quite thick. I've mixed enough up. I've never mixed up this much uh, resin before. Oh, I'm nearly out of resin now. Hope you all had a Good New Year, New Year's Eve and things. I've got one of these spreaders, let me just try that on a minute. That might be better actually. Like I've said in the other videos, I'm only learning myself, so if I do things different than what you do, probably because I haven't learned properly yet. I've just... Uh, set up a YouTube channel as well yesterday or the day before so if you're interested just go along to it it's uh just punch in McGowan's no McGowan art um I've only got a couple up at the moment this one will go up there but if you like it just you know put the put the thumbs up on it and subscribe I'd like to uh, the better I get at this I'd, obviously I'd like to show people, teach people
No, I really don't. Yeah. Clean the gloves off. See if I can get some of the bubbles out. I don't know if you can see the bubbles popping, I don't know. This warms up the resin as well, I'm sure and it helps it level itself out, I suppose. Alright, let's try that for a minute. Just change these gloves actually. Okay. Yeah, that metallic mic has just uh, toned that down a bit. I like this uh, red and yellow together.
I've got more or less a plan of what I'm going to do, but I've got to really concentrate that I don't overdo it. You don't want to leave plenty of this black. Yellow's looking quite nice. Quite a bit of blue. I love this blue, it really shines up. You can see it in a video much better than a, than a photograph, but it doesn't compare to a, looking at it right now here. Yeah, it's just beautiful. This is the style of stuff I like. A bit of gold, I think. I've mixed up basically loads of colours, but not sure what I'm going to use yet. Alright, let's give that a go.
Uh, it needs more white. I've often got to tell myself stop. <laughs> and if you leave it and come back to it, you get, you'll see things happen and you think, ah, oh, that's okay, I'll leave that. You know. But if you keep on, on it all the time, you, you might miss all that. Alright. Now this blue and green looks really nice together. Gotta watch I don't eat up all this uh, negative space. I don't normally like a lot of green in these, but this is a nice green. And when it mixes with this blue, it really is something else. My wife's always asking me, put more green in, put more green in. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. A bit of white, maybe. Oh, this is coming out good. Let me just check if that video's still on. Still going, I think.
not not quite. And this then this the blue I need more of. It's quite nice, I'm not sure if it looks right together. I think I'll put some some gold in. Maybe some purple. It didn't work out the way I, I expected it. No, I still don't like it. <laughs> All right, that's all I then. Still getting lots of bubbles popping.
I wonder if you can see that now. Yeah, it looks like. I'll mix up loads of loads too much, I think. Now, I don't want much more of more of anything, really. It just don't look enough yet.
getting some nice effects now. That blue and green, it really is nice. More gold out. This gold's nice. So. But all these colours are nice actually. And I'm not trying to trying to promote any particular uh, pigments. I, I love all the uh, micas. Uh, and just for actual resin pigments, these are the only ones I've ever used. Um, you know, resin for art ones. Only because I just happened to see them on eBay. And I thought I'd give them a go. But they are nice. And a lot of people have said how, how vibrant the colours are. <coughs> right, I wonder if that's going to be a bit better now. But all this is just incredible. It really is incredible to me. It's like it's like you're creating your own universe. But this is obviously nothing like near as good as the real thing, but it's it's the closest I can get and I, I'll enjoy this. Right. This is where I tend to go wrong now because I, I want to do some more <laughs> but I'll probably overdo it because that's, that's just not enough for me yet. So, I don't know really. Let's try some more of this red. Or maybe just a, a little one or something. This one's about uh, five million light years away, I expect. <laughs> I'll bring it down closer in a minute. I really hope I don't. Uh, hope I don't switch the. In, Camera off, the uh, phone off. The trouble is when you when you put on a lot of colours like this I'm doing now on this little one, it'll spread more. Uh, I don't really want that. It'll spread more because it's more more than to be spread. Let's see what we can do with that.
trying to make trying to make this more as like a look like an explosion, you know. I like that. Is that what it did? I don't know. Of a silly shape, I think. Oh well. What do you think? I don't know. More thin lines. I've got loads of resin left up there. I could do another one of these, I think. But it's so big, normally if I had resin left, I'd, I'd do something else. But this is so big, I've got nowhere to do it. Let's try the air floor on this one.
Just gives it that different effect. I always tend to get these little dips. Plus, I spread it, spread the black out too uh, too thin, I say. And I think it might be the glitter, glitter coming through as well, I don't know. So you tell me what you think. I should just level itself, you know. Right, I'm not going to do any more, I think I've done with it and I like it, as I say this will go on my wall. What do you think, is it all going to... The same way too much really I suppose. But once it dries out, it does it does dry up different and better I think. I've got a bit of mica powder there which uh, which went on the board as I was mixing them up so it, it stayed there. So I'll try and cover that. Got a smoke in there. You see, how, see what I mean about I, I tend to end up covering everything. Right. 
I'm going to leave it before I wrap it. I'm going to try and bring it down there and have a closer look. If I happen to switch the bloody camera off, I'll just do two a, a quick little video on top, like, you know. Right, let's have a look at it. Make sure I'm nowhere near the buttons. But I've got to pull this uh, plug off now. The charger. All oh, right, ideal. So this is a bit of a close up now then. And there are some nice effects. These little like uh, holes, I love all that. Right, let's just go off this bit of it. See that blue? It's, it's just like electricity, man. Some nice effects, eh? resin that I wish I had discovered this years ago. I love it. But it's not everyone's cup of tea. My brother Paddy's always telling me, go back to your ordinary paint, you know, oil colours and that, watercolours. He says that a, a two-year-old can do this. <laughs> But it's not, it's not, uh, anyone can do it, yeah, of course they can. But it is tricky. And it takes a while to get used to it. So like I say, I want to, I want to stick this one up probably on Facebook. It takes, it takes hours. Because this is a quite a long video, nearly an hour. Uh, but I will put it on YouTube. And, yeah, please, if you like it, go and watch it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Because I really enjoy doing this, so I'll, I'll do loads of them. I basically you do some sort of painting every day with it. It won't be all this big. So there you go. I hope you like that. I hope it didn't get too boring or anything. It's very difficult to take a picture of it, isn't it? Yeah, there's lights everywhere. But that's going on my wall. <laughs> Mind you. I don't know how I'm going to cover it. I built a thing, but it's not quite this big. This is bigger than the actual table. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment.